In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to install and use VirtualBox, Vagrant and Homestead. VirtualBox allows us to create virtual machines, while Vagrant helps us to provision those virtual machines, and Homestead is a virtual machine to help with PHP development. First off, we want to download and install the latest VirtualBox. So we can do so by clicking this very large button. Click on Windows Host as I am on a Windows PC. I will then continue to download VirtualBox. We can head over to vagrantup.com and download the latest Vagrant. I chose Windows 64-bit, but you can choose the one suitable for your PC. We can go ahead and install VirtualBox. We will ask a bunch of questions, but we can just click Next and Install. We don't need to open VirtualBox just yet. We can now go ahead and install Vagrant. We can keep to the defaults for this one as well. After installation has finished, it will ask us to restart our PC. We can now click finish and it will ask us to restart, which we will do so. Now we've restarted our PC, we can go ahead and install Homestead. Now Homestead is a Vagrant box that will help us with our PHP development. First off, we need to open up our Bash program or PowerShell we then need to git clone the homestead box into our users folder. So we can copy this and paste that into the command line. And this will clone homestead into our users folder. Once we've done this, we can cd into our users folder. Now we're in homestead. We can git checkout release. type bash init.sh which will initialize homestead and we can then run vagrant up. This will now download the vagrant box and provision the virtual machine for us. While this is installing we can check out the homestead project and see our configuration file. Okay, this is one of my uh, current projects. So if we go into your homestead, as we can see here, there's a homestead.yaml file. And if we open this up, it will have all our configuration set up. So we can add more databases. We could add a test database, um, project name database. You can create however many databases you need. We can also map folders. This will map the code directory within the users folder to home vagrant code and then the site homestead.test to home vagrant code public. So if you have this directory set up in here it will then map it to the machine. So as you can see within my users directory we have code and then public and I've placed an index.php file here which I can open up in notepad and you will see we have an echo of hello world. So if we now go to homestead.test we get hello world and this shows that you have successfully installed Vagrant and Homestead. You can now go ahead and create more projects within your code directory and use the configuration file to help with these projects. So if we go over to my previous homestead.yaml file, you can see I have a few sites. I have another site called petsitting.test and I also have a pet sitting database and all the folders are still mapped to code so as long as all my projects are within code they will all get mapped and then I can just map the sites to the corresponding directory. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you'd like to see more please click the subscribe button. Thank you. If you would like to see more programming tutorials, hints and tips please visit blog.michaelbrooks.dev 
and register as a member. You will then be able to receive emails, members-only content and more.